What's up guys? Welcome back to another LEGO Batman. This is HTG Brian and we are about to take on level 18 Green Fingers Free Play where we are going to find all 10 of those mini kits. We're going to get that stud requirement of 150k. We're also going to get that power brick for the next stud multiplier and of course rescue that hostage in peril. Now, a couple of quick things regarding this video. Uh, I sort of have a little bit of buyer's remorse. I probably should have waited to get the 4X stud multiplier for 2 million versus buying the 2X stud multiplier for 1 million. I know that's a little confusing, but I talked a little bit about it in the last video. If you have not purchased the 2X yet for 1 million, I recommend waiting and getting that 2 million. It doesn't really matter in the end. It's just going to be longer before we can purchase that next red brick. And of course, uh, you know, whatever's whatever. So if you want to go grind out some studs, feel free. Us, we're not going to do that for the video's purposes. We don't want to string them out and make them long and boring. We are going to collect all these studs here and talk a little bit about it. But I just wanted to point that out. Now, I also want to point out one quick thing too as we hop into the old bank truck here and select level three green fingers free play and let the game choose the characters for us well we choose clayface and then it chooses the rest there was a little bit of a mistake i made now i always cut out all the non-essential cutscenes and speed things up a little bit now you might have noticed it sort of just jumped right in right there well i edited the entire video and then realized i didn't speed it up so i decided to speed it up late and for some reason, it like jumped right in. It like missed like the first four or five seconds of me walking up and smashing those bits. So you didn't miss anything of importance, but it was a little odd. And I apologize for that. I'll make sure to speed things up before I do my edits so there's no mistakes. Now, on the left-hand side, go ahead and use the bomb suit, the demo suit for Batman or any other device that will explode that silver brick wall. Get up there and get that mini kit and make your way across. In fact, we're going to go ahead and switch to a toxic immune character and get over to the far right as well. Now, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, after we smash and build up that grapple point, we're going to find this nice little, I guess it's some sort of a blocker. This blocker is going to raise the roof, uh, using the techno suit, that is. We're going to go ahead and make our way through into the other side and make a full lap, turning all of these red flags green. Once we get them all green, guess what? Da, 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 da. It pops a mini kit. Now, I also want to point out, too, as I mentioned, we did speed this video up ever so slightly, and it feels a little faster than it normally should be. So I'm going to investigate that next time, too. If you follow our live streams, you probably notice, again, my main PC I do all my edits with, it's pretty old. I replaced my other PC recently for streaming purposes, but I have not updated my editing This is the one I do all the main work on. I should have replaced this one, if I'm being honest, but maybe someday. All right, demo suit on the right, blow up the silver gate, go ahead and use Batman to grapple up, not once, but twice. It's kind of a funny angle, so be aware of that. Once you get up to that second grapple point, double jump with a big character, I guess. Not a big character, a jumping character. Somebody like Clayface will go ahead and uh, get that mini kit. Drop down below if you want, build up this little lawnmower, get a little bit of yard maintenance taken care of, spiff the place up a little bit, and we'll go ahead and move on. Now we want to get our character up here, and uh, to do that, he should hop on as soon as you start pushing this push switch. Boy, I almost wanted to call it a pressure sensitive switch. Uh, once we get that character up there, I actually toggle because the other character will follow behind. Now I made a mistake and tried to switch to a character that had double jump but also toxic immunity and I failed and died. We'll go ahead and grab that bluesy, flip both switches and head into the door. Now Poison Ivy's got this nice little feature where she can uh, blow some kisses at these hearts and it'll create this nice little bounce pad for us. And boy, this is amazingly fast. I'm having a hard time even keeping up with the talking, let alone. And so I, I don't know, like I swear it's set at one, I'm looking at it right now, 115%, but it's moving like it's 150. Ugh. Anyways, um, hopefully we'll get this resolved for future videos. I greatly apologize. I partly want to go back and fix this. I think it'll be okay. You guys drop me some comments down below. Like, I, I feel like uh, like my editor has just gone mad right now. But anyways, get up top with a immune character like Poison Ivy. Push the old Bach down the checkerboard path there. And look at that. We've got the hazard suit now that we can slurp up some bricks. Switch back to the demo suit and blow through this gate on the left-hand side. Inside, we're going to find the hostage. But first, we got some of those hazard bricks. We'll pick those up. Inside, we're going to use the old robberang, and look at that. We have freed that little citizen in peril there, or hostage in peril, I guess is what they call him here. 
And look at that. We've got a bunch of bricks. Basically, almost everything in this room that you destroy pukes out those nice little hazard bricks. So uh, just do some work in here. Take it all down and fill up that suit with 25 bricks. Once it's ready to go, you can deploy them into this container here. And then it's going to actually give us a nice little remote control car. Uh, we can switch to the techno suit and get our ints, ints, ints on. That's right. Get our techno on. Go ahead and drive this bad boy right over into the oven. Set it to about 350 degrees, and about seven seconds later, da, 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 we've got ourselves a red brick. It happens to be the 6x stud multiplier. Now, that's going to cost us a bunch of studs, too, and we are short on those, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. Drop on down in that main room there, switch to the Riddler, and check through the old checkpoint. That gate should open, and as soon as we're free, we can switch to the demo suit and go up to the back left corner here and drop bomb, 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 bomb. Now we got to play a little color matching game inside this new room. Just slide these pieces down the checkerboard path, match them up with their color. Red on red, yellow on yellow, and of course green on green. Uh, go ahead and feel free to follow my methodology here by moving the red one first, sliding the yellow one down into place, and then pushing the green one up just a wee bit to sneak it by that red guy. And then, of course, once it hits that far wall, drop it down, and booyah kashow! Mini kit number four is ours. Now, earlier I mentioned that there was going to be a spot where we could grind out some studdage. This is a perfect place to do that. In fact, I only take out probably about two-thirds of what's available here. So if you're really trying to stud grind and trying to get maybe i don't know that next red brick stud multiplier this would be a good place to sort of start uh, i don't know if this is the best place to grind out in fact i haven't asked the writer or done any research in what the best level or the most offered studs in the shortest amount of time would be but uh, i'm sure that information is available to us somewhere all right, we can go ahead and blast through the wall on the right side with our demo suit, or we can build up that giant robotic thing and crash through it. It's up to you how you want to do it. Once we're through, though, we're going to build up this nice little swan. Stop looking at me, swan. Anybody know what movie that's from? We're actually going to drive it right to the middle, switch to Robin, and go into the dive suit into the middle hole there. And all of a sudden, pukes us out up top. We can switch to Batman and get our sonar on. And look at that. We flip the lever, and it makes all of those fountains go nutsoid. And then top of one of them is a mini kit and we got a couple of uh well we got some bluesies and some bombs too watch out for those bombs you saw me i took my uh <laughs> knocked my block off so to speak all right we'll go ahead and continue to smash through that wall with the swan and look at that we've got a grapple point that gets us a couple of blues and a purple twos and of course we're gonna go ahead and try to take this area for all the studs it's worth because we want to hit that requirement before we move any further we're smashing, banging, and booming, collecting as we go. And I think we actually hit that 150 mark. Well, I guess we don't hit it until we get in the next room. I, I, I remember now. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and get up close to this wall here, switch to a character with mind control, and we'll go ahead and make these guys do the dirty work for us. That's right. Smell that stank, smash that box, build that lever, flip it, and, of course, grab them studs along the way. We've got one more down here. This guy will smash and stand on this switch. It's a little little bit of a weird uh, scenario there as it spins him around. But it opens the door for us. Now, both doors should be open. We can advance into the next room, switch to somebody like Batman with a sonar suit to go ahead and take out that sonar glass, build up the remaining bricks into a metal wall. For us, we got that super villain right as we put on our moon boots. Now we're going to make our way across the top and grab mini kit number six. Thank you very much. All right, switch to a character with Toxic Immunity or just jump off the far right side of that balcony we created up there and uh, go ahead and switch to the Riddler one more time. we got another checkpoint to pass here. Uh, that's right, it's us, I promise. And we'll go ahead and smash some things in the background here as we're waiting for that door to open. Thank you very much. All right, down the hatch we go. As soon as we get down here, we're going to actually move to the left-hand side, switch to e somebody that can blow up some silver stuff. We got Batman in the demo suit out again. We could have deployed a penguin bomb. Go ahead and smash that computer terminal there, whatever it is, and build up the remaining bricks. It's actually going to need to be pushed into place. So get a character with some strength. That's right, weedy time. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and push this into place. It's kind of sort of a weird scenario here. Our character ended up inside of that build. Uh, anyways, it, it worked out for us. We'll go ahead and push it into place. Switch to Robin and his, uh, I almost call them electric boots, moon boots, or magnetic boots. Make your way all the way to the far left side. It should drop you down, and I go ahead and switch my character by toggling over him. 
toxic immunity is going to be needed to get through here. We'll go ahead and stand in a couple of switches, flip a lever, and then switch to Batman. The Batman, you've got red on you. That's right. We need the heat, heat immunity, if I can say it right. We'll go ahead and grapple up and run down that hot pipe up top. And, of course, grab that mini kit before dropping down. Now we got this elevator over here. It needs some work. We'll go ahead and do some there. But first, we're going to switch to Batman and the sonar suit and go ahead and make our way into the next room with Robin. We got to pull out that dive suit one more time, time, time. Make your way into the next room after hitting that switch. Hit the switch again and grab that mini kit at the top. Toggle back over and we got an elevator to build. But first, we got to use Poison Ivy in her little kiss of, well, death? I don't know. It's her bringing life. So we'll double jump up onto not one, but two of these flowers. And of course, up top, we'll smash and build up the last two bits needed. Go ahead and step on the pressure sensitive switch and booyaka shout, we are out of here. We do have one more mini kit coming up and it's in this final room here. It's actually over on the left hand side. It's probably the easiest one of the level. And in fact, all you need is a character with explodies. So we're going to go ahead and deploy a penguin bomb because we've been pretty biased with that demo suit. So look at that. The 10th mini kit is officially ours. Now, you could use that save and exit feature to kind of speed things up, but we are really right at the end again. The mini kits have kind of worked out that way so far, even though we've only done a couple of levels, it certainly worked out in our favor. Now go ahead and build up the stuff that you found from pushing that box down the checkerboard path by using mind control, and that'll actually power up the left hand side. Now we need to power up the right hand side. In order to do that, you gotta smash all these red flowers with poison ivy, and then go ahead and build up the bricks onto what ends up being a pump. And I messed this up so bad, you guys watch. All right, so I pumped it up once and it failed. I tried to pump it up again, failed, almost. I almost got it. I got it once and the cop got it once. And then I tried to double jump and I failed the third time. All right, ready? Nailed it, first try, as we say around here. Once all three of those nodes are powered up, you just simply have to jump on the left, right, and the middle, and look at that. Boo, ya, ka, shao, we are done. Whew. I will seriously make sure that none of the videos are that fast ever again. I know we had some faster videos in our early days, but those are just not cool. But that was pretty fast. Hopefully you guys kept up. That pause button probably got to work out. Anyhow, we got this, the mini kits all built up. We've got the stud requirement. And look at that. We need two million for our next purchase of the red brick. And we actually need another one that's four million. So currently our needs for money are six million. And we are short on that. But again, I promised the mini kit build here. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it's building up. Oh, feed me, Seymour. <laughs> it was like a giant fly trap. Anyways, uh, Venus eating, that is. We'll go ahead and call it good there. Lego Batman level 18, Green Fingers Free Play is officially c -c 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 complete. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I again apologize for the speediness. A little bit of weirdness. This is hopefully the weird video of this series. That being said, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time. Clear.